This is Rishi Shah. I just wanted to quickly talk about Digio and the benefits we have when we're integrated with Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Uh, we do a lot of Salesforce Marketing Cloud, data extensions, lists, upserts, uh, welcome journeys, triggers, shopping cart abandonment through Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And I just want to talk about kind of the differences between what Digio does and kind of what uh, the Smart Capture does for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Uh, and I'm going to go through a quick demo as well. I have a few slides here. Um, the biggest difference is that uh, in, in, in the Smart Capture web form, it's, it's actually a great form. It's a great builder. Uh, it's a, really just a static form that you're building that just goes directly into a into Salesforce Writing Cloud, and that's really good. But if you are a web marketer and you want to do things like personalization, um, or if you want to customize things on the fly, if you're you know you're not a Salesforce admin person, you have access to it. Usually, you want a solution where you can A/B test, make changes, personalize based on data that's on the site or in, in Salesforce Writing Cloud, uh, and you want to be able to customize it. So those are simple things that you can do in Digio uh, that you can't really do with the Smart Capture. Uh, the biggest thing I get all the time is, yes, you know, they want to customize and personalize, but they want to be able to push to multiple data extensions. Maybe there's like a master table and a specific uh, journey they want to trigger. It's really tough to configure that. Uh, you can do it with custom code, but it takes a little bit of, a little bit of work. Um, you can't do any personalizations. Maybe if you're on a specific product page, if you're an e-commerce site, or if you're a B2B site and on a specific like case study, or, or something else, or they're a, a returning visitor, and you want to change the form, you can't really do that with, uh, uh, with the Smart Capture form. You can do that really easily with our product, Digio. And we have hundreds of Salesforce Marketing Cloud customers. We've been around for about, uh, about nine years now, and I'm going to show you how, how we do that. The biggest thing we have a lot of marketers do, a lot of uh, web marketers, is we make it really easy to A-B test. You know, sometimes we, we think something's going to work, and it doesn't, um, and then you can easily see why it's happening. So uh, really, for B2B marketers, we do a lot of, like, PDF downloads. So something's like sign up for our newsletter versus, hey, download our case study does way better. Or if you're on an e-commerce site, you know, 10% off uh, all dresses versus, you know, get free shipping. You can easily test those kind of things out in a wizard-like manner. Uh, here's kind of a quick example of, of our editor. Everything is drag and drop. And I'm going to show you a quick demo, but everything is drag and drop. You can make changes in real time. You can hit that save and publish button right at the top, and you're, you're live on your site. There's no need to contact IT. You can kind of bypass your designer if you wanted to. Now, if you are a designer, you can import your custom fonts, custom CSS, and kind of hit the ground running. Now, what's, what we're trying to show off here is that you can push to multiple integrations. Um, and we will build out the Salesforce Brian Cloud integrations for you. We do a lot of those. It takes us about usually three hours to set up an integration, uh, is, you know, including custom fields or, or dynamic fields as well. Um, here are some examples of our customers. Um, like here's here's a really cool example where we can actually push in a birth date in exactly the format that you're expecting in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. In in some cases, you have to be you have the birth date has to be in three fields, for example. Uh, so they're entering an email and a birthday. Another example is we can push a one-time dynamic coupon code into your database as well, so you guys can trigger like a welcome journey that has that coupon code. So after, as soon as you enter your email address in here, you can actually show a dynamic coupon code that code that gets passed to a custom field, and then you can display that in that email that gets uh, transmitted. And all of our integrations into SFMC are 100% real time. Uh, another cool benefit there is we can actually make it so that you don't store any data on our servers. So if there's any type of privacy issues or PII compliance that we need to apply to, we can easily turn off data storage, bypass our servers completely. All data is housed completely inside Salesforce. Um, and that's been a, a, a big one for us. Um, one thing that's been huge for our international customers is the ability to, to customize things. So here you're going to see we can take actually a parameters in the URL. Now it doesn't just have to be parameters in the, U, in the URL. It can be parameters in a cookie value. It can be jQuery uh, elements that exist on the page in the HTML. It can be really anywhere where we can get it. Our JavaScript is really anything. And then based on that, if you see here, we're saying, hey, this, the currency is USD and the locale is US, and therefore we're going to show this in English. Um, and this is one form that dynamically can change based on uh, these values. So this one's in the US, we dynamically change these values. In this case, you know, the currency is, is, uh, is, is in, you know, it has to be in Espanol, so we, we changed everything to Spanish, for example. Um, and so the text, you know, even the error messages get changed. Uh, we can push to a different data extension as possible. Now we can also grab these fields and make them custom fields inside, you know, your data extension or your list or wh whatever, however it lives in exact target. We can push those values in uh, pretty easily as well. That way you can trigger things as well based on those custom fields in Salesforce Writing Cloud. 
And we will do the end-to-end -end integration. It's really easy to actually make changes as well in our editor, and I'll show you how to do that as well um, in this demo. Uh, there's so much more that you can do with Digio. Um, one example here is we can actually grab, if you're an e-commerce store, this is really huge, we can grab the items that you browsed. Um, we could do uh, one-click uh, clicks. So for example, you know, it's not just capturing emails, it's not just capturing data, it's also like maybe you want to push your Android app. So we can do device detection, and based on if they're an Android device, we can have a, hey, get it on play. If they're on an Apple device, maybe we show them, send them to the, the iTunes store, the App Store. Um, we can also do upsells, so we can we can read what item is in the cart, and then based on that, so you know if if, if they're uh, they're buying a specific item, we can show a, a, rele a relevant item that they have. Um, another big one is is personalization, so we can add a little mini quiz, uh, and they can tell tell us you know a little bit about themselves. So if you're like a toy store and you click wooden toys, maybe we can show them wooden toys then instead, and, and ask them for an email address to get personalized recommendations. This works really well for B2B customers. You know, tell us what your job title is, and then based on that, we get them the right case study or or the right material that they need to make a decision faster, better, and all that data can get cookied and then pushed into your Salesforce Finding Cloud instance along with that email address record as well. So you can adopt personalization inside your Salesforce Finding Cloud uh, uh, instance. Uh, here's another one where you know you can do you know, donations and this button link can dynamically change based on location, based on URL parameters, based on what page they're on, based on articles they read, um, and, and so forth. Um, it's really easy to figure out, you can have multiple web forms in, in Digio, um, and they all kind of live in their own little world, and they can each go to different items. So this one will go to you know, these two integrations. You can have another box and to go to another data extension, uh, and you can make it really organized as well as push to multiple places at the same time, and also separate where things get placed. Um, here's kind of another kind of cool example uh, where, you know, You can do a one-click checkbox as well. So this is like a main page, and this is the thank you page. So for example, the main page, I collected the email. Then you can also design a custom thank you page where you can do a one-click, hey, why don't you join our other newsletter, for example. We have a lot of SFMC customers that have you know six lists or 68 extensions. You know, you got them here. Now you know the best time to get them to another list is pretty much ask them right after a subscription. That's actually uh, a very good. Uh, they call it an upsell, uh, or in this case, you know, you get them on one list, maybe get them on all your lists. So if maybe you're asking for a coupon code. Hey, do you want to join our weekly newsletter as well? So you can do a one-click checkbox. They hit a submit button and they're added to both lists or both that extensions really easily. No need to ask for an email address again. Uh, yeah, so we're fully integrated with Salesforce Marketing Cloud. We pass all data in real time. Uh, this is really important. A lot of a lot of our customers before coming to us, they're doing a batch upload. And why that's so important is that the email that gets the highest open rate is the one that you send immediately after you trigger it. So if you want to, if the highest open rate, usually it's like 60% that we're seeing. If you trigger an email immediately after someone actually enters their email address in, you're going to see a really high open rate. That's going to be the highest open rate you're ever going to get. And so you want to leverage that materials. Before coming to us, a lot of customers, they're doing a nightly batch upload, and they're pretty much eliminating that first-time experience that they're going to get. It's always a delay, uh, and so it's all real-time. Uh, you can do welcome journeys in real-time. If you're doing a coupon code, real-time is everything, uh, and, and there's a lot you can do with that. This is our rules, like how does a light box get displayed on your site? How does a form get displayed? All sorts of navigation rules that you can pick and choose from. In this case, we're gonna try to get a device, um, and they're gonna be, in the, you know, so it's only gonna show up on mobile devices. Maybe we're doing like a, a Play Store uh, uh, thing, or maybe we're doing a one-click mobile subscribe button. This will be a phone, you know, in the United States. We're gonna keep showing this light box until it's closed or, or, or the form has been submitted. So the goal is to be effective and not annoying. You know, you don't want to be aggressive and, and annoy your subscribers, right? They're there, you have their time, you want to get their information, but you don't want them to be annoyed. And so we make it very clear, if they've ever subscribed on our boxes, we make sure they don't see anything ever again from us because you already won, you already got their information, there's no need to show it again and again. So the rules are really important to us and you want to be smart about what you display. So you can say, hey, I'm, you know, they're on a mobile device, let's do a, a maybe a banner, so something that takes 30%. You know, we want to make sure that we're all always compliant with Google's policy. You know, make it, make it a banner, 30% under the screen real estate. 
hey, if in the U.S., maybe we want to show very, you know, maybe we want the language preference to be in English and very specific to catering the U.S. market. We're going to say, look, maybe you're doing advertising on Facebook, so we're using a referring website URL right here. So it's only going to show to Facebook. Maybe you're doing like an ad on Facebook, and so those are like people that you're really trying to get in because you're spending money for them. We're targeting first-time visitors with this past visits rule, and we're going to open this box after three seconds on the page. Now, this is a very good active capture. This is going to pop open at them when they come on the site after three seconds. Active capture is always going to increase conversions by 7x more than any type of form that's embedded on a page. So when you think about an embedded form, you're thinking about uh, inline forms or like a contact us form that you click on a page and then you see that form. Uh, very few people will actually go to like a contact us form or demo page, which is why a active light box will always outperform anything that's like embedded on a page. Lots of great analytics to pick and choose from. Uh, you can see how you're, you can, you know, you can see your performance, you can A-B test. Um, if you ever want to learn more, I'm happy to show you a demo just like this. So we can pull up your website. We can see maybe can we help you out. Uh, our, our average customer will see a 2x increase in the first seven days alone. So if you ever uh, feel like you're, you're missing something, feel free to direct us that demo. I'm happy to go through your entire site. It'll be me personally. We'll go through your entire site and we'll, we'll uh, look and see how things go. Uh, I do want to show you a quick demo. Um, this is Digio right here. This would be your account if you had a Digio account. Everything is drag and drop in our system. Uh, we will design the first few light boxes for you to kind of hit the ground running. You can easily make changes. So this is like a background, for example. Um, you can add custom fields, you know, not just an email address, a custom drop down, for example. You can also add hidden fields. Great for Salesforce Sparking Cloud uh, integrations. Maybe you want to add a source code, or maybe you want to grab something from the URL. We can pass custom fields. Uh, everything is changeable. We have four types of widgets. This is the light box. This is kind of where you're going to see the highest conversion rate on something front and center. This will show up on your site. Now we also have the sidebar, um, and this is where it kind of swings in from the side. This is more popular for us. Uh, you can actually make it so it swings in from the left, for example, and reposition it. It's really flexible. Now all these items also can be dynamically changing and personalized based on either third-party data that exists or uh, data that exists on your site. So this can say 10% off all dresses if they're on a dress page, 10% off on tuxes when they're on a tux page. And whenever you change and personalize it based on what they're looking at, you will see a 7 to 10x increase in conversions. It's pretty incredible. Uh, just very simple tweaks inside our system. Uh, to personalize the form based on who they are and what they're looking at and what they're interested in. Um, we also have the inline unit. So that's an embedded form. And what's cool about that is you can position via jQuery, which allows you to do a virtual embed. You can bypass IT and do virtual embedded uh, forms. And then we also have the banner that takes over the top or the bottom of the page. And you can set it to move your own negative nav bar down to kind of keep it front and center uh, when they come to the site. Lots of optionality here. Conditions, I briefly talked about, we have hundreds of conditions that you can pick and choose from. We also can build out custom conditions uh, to, to do exactly what you want, like targeting based on cookie values. You know, you could target until they've submitted the light box, and all these are kind of added together. So, hey, I'm going to keep showing this light box until the form has been submitted. We only want to target first time visitors, so past visits less than one. Um, we can go on and on. We can target based on exits, so they, they're leaving the page. If you want to do like shopping cart abandonment, you could do uh, pages navigate URLs does not contain. Um, so this way it won't show up if they actually completed the checkout. So let's just assume you know, the complete checkout page is checkout success. And we only want to trigger this on a cart URL. So current page URL contains cart, for example. So now this will only show up if they're on cart, they haven't purchased an item, and they're leaving. That's what the exit intent rule does. Um, you can also add in referring website URL. You can add lots of other rules right here based on country. Um, and I did want to, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, I did want to shoot a shorter video. Uh, feel free to email me if you guys want to see a demo. Um, we have analytics, A-B testing. Is, is, you guys are going to love it. It's all wizardized. Um, integrations, check out our other videos on, on how we integrate with Salesforce Spartan Cloud. Um, we, we do a ton of Salesforce Spartan Cloud integrations in, in a variety of different ways. Um, and it can make sure your data lives in there. There's a lot you can do. We have a full JavaScript editor, so you can really write, write, write any type of custom rules. Um, you can write listener events. Uh, it's a very powerful tool for your site to be able to capture conversions. I'm going to end my, my demo there, but would love to talk to you if you guys are interested in increasing conversions. Thank you.